wanted to talk to you guys today about dogs that are jealous. This is a common issue that I hear a lot about. People will call me and say, hey, my dog's super jealous. He won't let other dogs come up to me. If he's on the couch with me, he won't let my kids come up to me. People misconstrue this issue. So let's talk a little bit about it. Number one, it's important to understand a couple things. Just because your dog acts this way doesn't actually mean that he or she is jealous. In most cases, what it actually is, is your dog is resource guarding you. You 100% don't want that kind of relationship with your dog. Your dog should view you as a leader. This is achieved by having good fundamental control and compliance with your dog. And just this changes the dynamic of the relationship. So the dog learns, I don't allocate resources. I don't decide what you or anybody else can have and not have. Same with toys. Same with affection, same with anything. And in the home, a big thing that I like to do to control the space, right? Because controlling space is just as important as controlling resources, because space is actually a resource if you think about it. A lot of what I do is I will send a dog to place a lot. So a dog that does this kind of stuff, they're not actually gonna be next to me, especially if they on their own decide that they wanna be next to me. I never allow them to do that. I'll send them over to their to the place command and if you want to see a little bit about the place command i have videos actually that you can scroll down and see whether it's on instagram or, or youtube where we talk about the place command and even do a little how-to tutorial on how to teach it. By having the dog do place in the house, I reduce a lot of these issues. Then on top of that, affection. Affection is something where I decide if you're gonna receive affection. So if I have a dog who's really pushy and jealous, and he or she comes over to me for affection, then I'll often send that dog away. No, go to your bed. I'll call you when I wanna see you. And then I'll call the dog over maybe later, give the dog affection, and then send the dog away. It's not that they're actually jealous. They don't have the respect and the compliance towards you that you she should have and they view you as a resource you know it's completely unacceptable that your dog decides who you interact with so place command is big structured walk is big i talk about structured walks in other videos it's just really important guys you know your dog does not control access to resources and affection is a resource. I can't say that enough. The other big thing I want to mention quickly is furniture. Don't let your dog be up on the furniture, especially if they have these behaviors. And don't let your dog freely wander the house because I guarantee you that is a big part of the problem. That's just a quick blurb on a topic that actually is a little bit more complicated, but I just wanted to kind of cover the broad spectrum of what the issue is and, and usually where it comes from. Thanks for watching.